Well, hello, Switch. Andy back with you guys for the after show behind the stage. Remember, we had over 5,000 questions came in. A lot were some, uh, a lot were the same. Some were silly, some were a little vulgar, some were way out of line, and I'm tracing the text. Just kidding, I can't. I told you it was anonymous, but I'm tr I promised that I would try to get to as many questions as I possibly could. And so that's what we're doing here. If you remember in week number two, I showed you the video or piece of the video of Cameron who went and told his parents what was going on in his life and how it radically affected and changed his own. I want you to go see that. It's going to be a great video. It's about seven minutes long. Um, let's get to some questions for today. Um, this question came in from a lot. What's the best way to deal with a breakup? Or what's the best way to break up with somebody, I guess would be a good question too. Is I think it's like a band-aid, baby. Rip it off. Back in the day, we handed our letter jackets back to each other and we left, right? It's like you knew you were getting dumped. It's like, here's your clothes, right? And so I would say, honestly, man, be done with it. You know, the problem for many people is they find themselves in abusive and bad relationships. Um, they, they, they know they need to get out. Their sexual purity is getting compromised and all of those things are happening and they know they need to get out. You need to just drop it, get out. But here's what I would say. Do it in loving, kind words. Don't be a jerk. Don't be mean. Don't be gossiping. Don't say bad stuff about him. Just say, hey, I'm evaluating my life and what's going on. And right now this relationship isn't working. I know many of you have practice. If you've ever been to church camp, what do you do when you get home? I'm going to date God. See, there you go. Next question. <laughs> How much time should I spend with my boyfriend, girlfriend? Um, this would be something you might want to talk over with your parents, see what they say. Um, here's what I'll tell you the big mistake most teenagers make is they have their set of friends, they get this boyfriend or girlfriend they cannot live without. They talk constantly on the phone, texting constantly, they go out and they abandon all their other friends, which is really cool until you get dumped or vice versa and then all of a sudden, here we go, now where's all your friends? Uh, I think it can be very unhealthy to spend too much time. You get too ingrained, they get to know each other. The more time you spend, generally the more intimate you guys get to know each other, which generally leads to more sexual things. So if you're going over to their house Monday to Friday, Saturday, spending the afternoon going to the movie, I would say, where are your other friends? Also start thinking about them. Uh, this next question is good. How do you get people to like you? <laughs> well, obviously, uh, mm, that's a good question. Uh, here's the deal. Be good looking, smart, and athletic. Huh? You don't have that going for you? All right. Well, neither die. So here's the deal. Uh, the honest truth of the saying is this. Be yourself. I can't say this over and over again. People want to know how to pick up girls and how to get boyfriends and girlfriends. How about be the person God's created you to be? That's your uniqueness. That's what gravitates and draws people to you. When you're fake and you're putting images out there that aren't really who you are, everybody knows it and sees through it and they don't want to hang out with that kind of person. If you're shy, if you're timid, if you're quiet, be that. You don't have to be loud and be something that you're not. Be comfortable with who you are and, and who Christ has made you. Be comfortable in your quirks and all of your craziness. Be fine with that, all right? I promise you, there's somebody for everybody, all right? It's not that hard to get a boyfriend or girlfriend. Look around. Anybody can do that, all right? Hopefully that helps. Um, is, love a first, is love at first sight true? Um, I suppose people can say we fell in love at first sight, but this is what I'll tell you about love. Love is hard work. Love is an action word, all right? We throw love around like it's nothing, like, hey, I love you, I love you, and it's like, ah, oh, we just met, we hung out, now I love her. Love always seeks the greater good of another person, and to do that, here's the deal, that takes work, all right? Here's what I would say, if you really fell in love with this person, protect their purity. If you really love this person, protect their time. If you love this person, protect their heart. Uh, love is an action. People may have fallen in love at first sight, but to stay in love, it took a whole lot of work. Uh, last question, is it okay to break up with someone for someone else? Yes, all right? Here's my little advice, not a whole lot. I can't even put scripture to this, I don't even know, but here's the deal, what I would say, is don't be a cheater, all right? Don't, don't be playing. Don't go to a party on one night, have a boyfriend, make out with this person or something happens or fall in love at first sight, right? And then all of a sudden you break up with your person and the next morning you've already cheated on them. Don't be that person. I promise you, if you're that person in high school and college, you're gonna be that way when you get married, all right? Don't be that. Don't go out with cheaters. Don't hang out with them. Here's the deal. Be honest and open. If, if, uh, if it's not working out, it ain't working out. Break up with them. Another little bit of advice, I wouldn't go out with the person the next day, all right? Don't break up on Friday night, and then by Friday at 12.30, you got another boyfriend. I wouldn't do that either. That lacks integrity and character in my book. I would say give it some time. Feelings could get hurt. You guys could be emotionally attached. Maybe you had some sexual tensions or those things that were going on, so there's a lot of attachments. 
give it some time, respect each other, love each other. This is what I have to say is thank you for um, having me out. I enjoyed being with Life Church as always. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Know that God is for you. No temptation has seized you. You are an overcomer no matter what is coming against you. Uh, God can set you free from it. That's what he does. He's a redeemer. He's a healer. And, and, and he can take things that have been broken and bring them back together. He loves you and he's looking forward to you not running away from him but turning to him. See you guys soon.